hey guys like quick hilarious story so obviously by now you know I've been obsessed with Love Island <laughs> so last night my mother calls me like super late it must be 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning now I'm freaking out like if you've uh, seen any of my other videos then you know that my dad is on dialysis and he takes treatment at night time so it overlaps into the morning so the wee hours of the morning so I get a call that um, I don't even know and says I missed it and I call back and I am tired and she is like yeah um, Caleb contacted me and I'm like what <laughs> girl what <laughs> And now let me tell you about my mammy. I gotta <laughs> just can't with her. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her, y'all. Like, <laughs> so she's like, I just I had it on my heart to contact him because, um, you know, she just said you know it's been getting out of hand, and I, you know, she's 66 years old, and she said she's just at a place in life where pe you know, she couldn't as a mother watch that not to say she condones the behavior but she said she actually had sent him a message to justine and she sent a message to caleb just um you know just basically um wishing him well and also just you know telling him or suggesting that he apologize and that you know just do you know to do the right thing and as it would be um he did reply and and it was short and um you know cute whichever and so during the day i go over there it's the, like the one place i can go during this pandemic so i get there and i'm doing stuff with the kids and i just see her on her phone and i'm like girl what you you know what are you doing <laughs> and my dad's looking and she's like oh i'm just talking to caleb so y'all buddy like talking to Caleb, <laughs> like how, when, where, like, <laughs> and, um, you know, and I won't share just out of respect because he did not have to reach out to my mom. Um, he was very respectful. Um, I'm not going to do any dragging today. He was very respectful. Um, I still, you know, stand where I stand and I still wish him well. Um, but, um, you know, I this time around um and she sh when she showed me the um message it was uh, you know it was lengthy <laughs> and i was you know which i thought was cool and it was i thought it was nice that he took the time um to do it i still um again feel how i feel but i, I must say that you know i'm glad he did that and when i got home actually like right before doing this video i was pleasantly surprised to see that and it's not completely you know um but i mean i'm not god so you know i you, you know i am not the ruler <laughs> of what is the end all be all but um i did see that i wish i remembered her name oh my goodness like i hate doing stuff and not remembering names but the girl in the video for justine with the pink shirt i just i cannot remember her name but i did see on Twitter that he did take the time to apologize to her and you know somewhat apologize to Justine or at least acknowledge that he um, had apologized to Justine in private and while you know obviously there's still so much to learn from the situation that goes beyond the relationship I truly truly do hope that that is a step in the right direction not for any clout not but genuinely just as a person like there's so many lessons to be learned I think for both of them in this and so and even my mom, I just I found it hilarious that my 66 year old mother is in love with Love Island to the point she's still like still can't cut off her mommyhood even in her Love Island that she would reach out to Caleb but <laughs> I just thought that was a cute, funny little story and something positive and uplifting. And sometimes, and it, and it does show, and I'm not saying that she is the reason that he apologized because I'm sure he's had a lot of messages, but uh, that words are so important. And that goes all around, both just for all of us, that 
your words sometimes can make a difference. Sometimes you never know what somebody's going through and how your words can change. And so, and I'm guilty of this too because I did do some dragging. And I'm not saying that some of it wasn't warranted from the alleged comments. But, um, being wise with your words and also just for as much as we take the time to drag and, you know, <clears throat> And, you know, contingent upon what comes out later. So it's a little bit more dragging to do. I'm just playing. I'm, I'm going to work on that. I'm work in progress. But, um, no, but seriously. Um, you never know just what somebody needs. What you can be a mentor. Um, a guidance. Just an ear sometimes in the midst of chaos. So, thought that was a cute, funny little story for the night. Before everybody goes to bed. And before I put my little ones to bed. Even my little son who has who is six and following, um, he's been following this whole thing, and, oh, and so when I, he found out that she talked to Caleb, he's, oh, what about Trey and Rachel and Carrington, and I'm like, oh my, boy, go to bed, but, no, but seriously, everyone have a good night, thought it was cute, stay positive, and just, let's keep uplifting each other, and be gentle with each other, and, Whatever we can learn from any of this, take what we need as always. Peace, love, many blessings, light. Have a good night.